we at Hasa Kheo Safe Podcast now. Um, uh, today we're still going to go over where did you go for try to stay within five, ten minutes of that. And then we're going to go into what did you buy. And there's a lot of new words that I've created. They might not be as accurate as in Lashitsi as it should be, but it's it should be really close. So like like placeholder words? Um things like airline tickets and baseball oh. tickets. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Like modern like, Yeah, modern stuff we would buy. Oh. oh. But again, we're just gonna briefly go over where are you going? So, uh, I didn't want to add all Tiat Sahel um, because it's make it shorter, not make it so difficult uh, for the beginner users. Um, well, it, that just means uh, on this day, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go with uh, three, four um, defense here. <laughs> three questions for four to answer, maybe five. Football jargon, never mind. It's okay. <laughs> huh? I missed something. Oh, football jargon, three, four. So three for the questions and then four for the answer. Yeah. And then you got your O's, your O-line. Wait, that's football? Yeah. Oh, three, I don't... Three, oh. three, four is the defense, and that's, that's oh. it. All right. Nice. Okay, so you're going to ask three questions? No, three, three whole words to make the question. <laughs> but because it's a compounded word, it makes, um, it makes one word. So this, this is one word, but it gets broken out. Uh-huh. Uh, the breakout is qui, a state of not knowing. All right. Qui, odd is your. Your odd, ha 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 ha. No, okay, fine. Bod joke, apparently. <laughs> I'm just gonna put nomzer because I don't remember how to spell normalizer. So what is that? Would, uh, nomzer for normalizer. Uh, what a normalizer does, it takes an action word and nouns it, right? So it turns the word run as an action and makes it a noun to a runner, right? So when you combine all three of these words together, you're making a compounded word that turns into um, I don't know, right? I don't know. Sentence? Yeah. Oh. So this turns this, and then because it's not a D, then this goes silent. Turns it into quads. Quads. Mm -hmm. One word, quads. Quads. Chad. Quads. Oh. Chad. Quads. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I think. Uh, I think in Southern Lushootsi, I was taught to say little chad of choch. Which I don't know what that means, but I know what it means. Like, where are you going? Oh. Okay. Um. Have uh, the la in Northern Lushootsi? Like la talawil. Hey, hey. Um, I could be mistaken, but I I'm pretty sure la is habitually doing it. <gasps> really? Yeah. Huh. And this is where I was going to go into the, my, my next question. Is this okay. the answer? So question, answer. And this is the four breakdown, right? Uh, o -oh. o -oh is one word. Chud, oh -oh. twal, he. 
Oh, Chad Tall T. And then you add on your on your after your fourth, you add your your word. Um, Northern Southern Lachute um, perfectly used halalt. It's not there. Hal alt. Halt. Hal and then alt. Hal alt. And then our next one, um, because this is a socks rattle variant, um, brought to you by Mary Jack. She said, Hallalt is a place of business. It's a place for Kinko's, FedEx, the post office, place where you actually work on marking paper. And uh -huh. if you use school, then you just say school. Oh. Uh -huh. And she said, this is how you spell school, S-K-U-L, because that's how it sounds, school. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to sound this one out, it's shul, S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry for asking. Yeah. And then, um, again, this is where Sabali Ali is, right? Um, nowadays, they call it White Horse. And this is the town of Darrington. Okay. okay. So, the town of Darrington, Ochad Quality Zolcade. Um, this kind of means, I think they said this means portage. Uh, it was the shortest distance between the Sauk River and the Stillaguamish River. And um, this is where we portaged. And that's how come we call it Zolcade. It, that's cool. Yeah, 10,000 years ago, uh, Koba uh, blew. And uh, when she blew, she, this, this whole area turns into a, a Lahar zone and buried, this was all Lahar, and split the river up because the river used to run this way. And then because the Lahar happened, it made the river go this way. Present day. That's an that's a earthquake? Uh, no, that was a volcano. Lahar is the um, soot and debris coming from the top of the mountain and made the land where it is right like now. like like mount st helens yeah yeah wow i know i know lummi is the lummi tribe or is it the lummi it's it's all the ish tribes they have a story of about the stillaguamish the snoquamish like uh how they used to all be one and like 500 years ago there was a flood that split them all up so like it's really interesting to hear like how like I don't know because you know in white society native history is always invalidated. Right. So it was super validating to hear that story about like how like this great flood happened and then like and then the tribe to have the white people find out they're like oh that really did happen. You know it's kind of rude how they don't believe us in our own stories but it was it was cool that, that happened. Right. But yeah, that, that, that's Darren. Uh, this is a culture appropriated word um, that our people use. Ocha twelve shakabots or kabots. Um, the culture appropriated word is down below, right? Oh. Uh, well, because we had a lot of. Uh, we had some marriage in in Darrington, uh, and we started using their word verbiage and word usage, and in and it kind okay. of imported in uh, with our language. Um, so there, there's two options here. Uh, my grandma, Catherine Joseph, but her maiden name is Brown, uh, Brown. and um, she said it was Shakabots. And then again, Mary Jack, um, Soxwaddle descendant, she said it's Cape Abbots. It's just down below. Um, down below, it starts down here. It starts in Arlington, but it could mean north to Bellingham or south to Lake Seattle. It's just anywhere that you got to go downriver to go to um, places you're going to go. And it just entered in our, our jargon up here that if you say down below from the people up here, we, we know we know what you're doing and we know what you're talking about. I went down below about down below the other day. Yeah. That means you leave the city? Uh you left yeah, you left the city, you went down to Arlington or further. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just we got weird jargon up here. And this is a part of it. And a new culture appropriated word. Back in 2014, um, I asked Zeke a serious question. I was like, dude, dude, I go here a lot, right? And I go to, uh, yeah, I go to 7 Eleven a lot, especially when I was going down to Newey. You know, Newey. 7 Eleven is just right down the street. Oh. Uh, I was all like, Zeke, what's the word for 
Seven Eleven. What's the word for a Slurpee? And he was like, dude, we got a word for Slurp. <laughs> and I was like, what, really? And I was like, yes. And then so he, he, he said he'll figure it out. And then he came back the next day and he said, it's shoot. You went to the shoot alt. Because <laughs> that, that really means <sighs> to Slurp. That's cool. The Uochcha Twalti Shoot Alt. Or if you buy a Slurpee, it could be shoot. Of course, you could also shoot your soup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But you can't guzzle Slurpees. That fucking got Slurpee. Yeah. <laughs> and so is that like the 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 normal word for a convenience store or just 7-Eleven? Oh, this one's very particular to 7-Eleven. Because okay. it's the house of Slurpees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then this is where I, I talked about the la. La oh chad twal ti gudil alt. Right? We go, yeah. It's really going, going to go to the bathroom. And you're going to go to the bathroom, especially nowadays, uh, into the gudil alt where there's running water and stuff. You're not going to go to the outhouse or, or the other stuff. Unless you have to. And then here's the uh, breakdown. Uh, Northern Southern is Guadilalt, right? Yeah. Northern dialect. And I'm not entirely certain which Northern dialect it is. It could be Upper Skag. It could be Tolop. Might be Swin. I'm not entirely certain. But it was Sa Alt. The evil place? Huh? The evil place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. This is uh, coming from a dictionary standpoint. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it, it's bad. It's evil. Um, either way. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what Captain Brown, Captain Brown said, and this is for sock language, is uh-uh-lol. Who? Uh, Catherine Brown. She's my grandmother. Oh, I thought you said Captain. <laughs> I didn't know what you're talking about. No, and she said Alal? Yeah, she uh, said Alal. Alal. Uh, -al -al. uh, I was like eight years old and I was like, uh, how do you say bathroom? And then she was like, oh, that's uh, -al -al. You need to go? <laughs> that way. Okay. Well, so that's that something. Got, that got ingrained in my head, so I needed to make sure to write that down and cite who I got it from. Mm -hmm. So this is what my grandma said, is it, it's a all. Oh. What does the, the schwa mean? Oh. Is that a lot, that, that's like house, right? All, all? Um, so this is bathroom, as far as SSIT concerned. But if you look at Northern Lachute or Southern Lachute um, this uh, transfers into outhouse. Huh. Very particularly those outhouses that, that with the little moon on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. The shack outside? Yeah, the little shack outhouse outside. That's what this translates to, outside of sock. Huh. The ones that don't have running toilets, it's just a hole in a piece of plywood and a hole in the ground. Uh, that's, that's that. <laughs> so here's the one for store. It's a hoyu bulb. So this one is like Walmart, Fred Meyers, Target, Cabela's, um, Places where you buy stuff could be a grocery store. If you want to be really specific, you can say "safed uh, holy bolt." You know, "safed t holy bolt." You know, food store. Did it uh, mean like the clothes? Robots holy bolt uh, clothing store. But to keep it simple. We're just gonna say holy bolt. Because you that's where you buy stuff. Okay. I, I'm looking over to my right because that's where the uh, the screen thingy is. No problem. 
Whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> All right, so this one is Kata Seed Alt. Ochad Twalti Kata Seed Alt. Kata Seed means kerosene, uh, gasoline, and oil. And anything in the modern combustion engine that you could use as uh, fuel, like diesel. Uh, and then there's a different word for ingestibles in something that you eat. That's swuss. Swuss is your butter, your vegetable oil, your um, it's in a blue tub. At any rate, it's in the ingestible oils that you can ingest. Cata seed is the non-ingestibles. Can eat it. Okay. And then the cook suit Ali. This is a both northern and southern um, dialect that you could use. Uh, culture appropriated means canoe, but its mode of transportation kelp bead. And my office is Yai Sadi. As you can tell, it's very messy. Adi. Siayu Sadi. Adi. Adi. How come it's different from uh, Alt? Um, Alt is the house of, Adi is the place of. Oh. Twelty Asheralt restaurant. Not very many buffets open now. <laughs> ah, then definitely use alt here. Kupi alt, definitely the house of coffee. Oh, so okay. So office. You don't have an office building, and that's why it's Adi. It's Not just a, it's a room. Building that is for work. It's, a yeah. obby, it's the place of doing work. Oh. So, um, oh, chad twal ti la haidu fari. School? Mm hmm. Classroom? Mm -hmm. Classroom. So the la adi would be in a call out. Hey. Yes. Oh, oh wow. What's that below it? Uh Chawat Adi. And Ch this is what I commonly heard was Chawat Il Adi, but I might just be hearing things that I just add ill to it. But Dr. Hmm. Zeke did give it to me with Chawat Adi. But I think it's Chawat Il Adi. But again, I could be mistaken. That's the that, side note. That's cool that you know how to change the font color. I don't know how to do that. That's cool. So, what does Chawat mean? Uh, I know this is school, or uh, not classroom. This is a classroom. Oh. Because I know hide means to know or hi. Mm -hmm. What does chawat mean? I don't know. It might be the same thing just in the nor southern language. Or oh, oh, yeah. Just, sorry. This is where we get kind of messed up with our northern and southern. And then um, the options that you could use for T. So T is here, right? 
this could get changed out to uh, any of uh, any of these teas. So tea northern southern we would use tea for northern and southern. We would also definitely use tea uh, for northern language. So anywhere in the northern language, it would be sufficient to use tea. Uh. Now in the sock language, we would also use tea odd ia tea ia for our language use. So could you do it? Could you do an example of the tea ia? Um, okay, so in this case, I would use O Oh Chud Twal Ti Adi Ya Cook Suit Ali. I went to this very particular kitchen, not any other kitchen, this particular kitchen. Right? Oh. But in the sock dialect, it also means this kitchen. So it's 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 pretty interesting, um, because they said um, it's okay for this and the right mm -hmm. for tiadia in its sock because that's what my grandma said that she was gonna use it for. So uh, I'll recite that on there. Um, but that's another one of those things where. They were very saying you gotta use tia dia instead of tia, because tia would, is is used but is not as used as much as tia dia. But by definition, tia dia, tia dia, t screwdriver, this screwdriver particularly, sorry, this particular screwdriver, not any other particular screwdriver. It has to be this one, right? Does that have to do with sentimental value? Um, most cases, um, it could be, or it could be just used as places, like we're going to school. You gotta go oh, to yeah. that particular school, not any other school, but that <laughs> particular school. Or you gotta go to that store, not that, another particular store, you gotta go to that store. It was more reference used to, um, instruct the person to do something. And, and, and something what I can tell on the tapes I got. And it, it's like something specific. Yes. Not any general store or any general anything. It has to be specific kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yep. So if you want to be very descriptive and go to that one, get them to go to that one place and that's where it was. And then here's this uh, breakdown. Um, uh, o uh, is central information or pertinent information for your uh, question uh, or contains a new idea. So in this case, it's central information. It's central to the question, to, uh, to ans ask the question you just answered is O. Uh, la, is what, if I can remember correctly, is habitually doing the action. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure on that. All right. Went through that as quickly as I could. Sorry, it took a half hour. <laughs> no, that was nice. Thank you. Comments, concerns, questions? Well, I, I have a very bad interrupting problem. So I usually just ask my questions when they come up. And okay. I noticed that I was interrupting you quite a bit. So I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> More questions, yeah. better. I usually just, uh, <laughs> it's really, I feel bad because it, it really just, I interrupt with whatever thought I have. So I don't really have any questions because I already asked them. So just like last time, um, we're just going to go ahead and forego using the all fiat fail and just switch to the 3-4. The so stop 
indicates on instead of where, this is what. Right? Stop is what. So this is where you could actually start playing around with the language, as long as you know where to where to break it out. So stop quads and what what? So what is who? We'll get to that one later. But stop is what, and chad is where. Otaut. So in all the other languages. This is definitely Sox Waddle dialect because Norma said that this was the language here that we used particularly at Sox Waddle to purchase something that was togged. Togged. Mm -hmm. Togged. But any other Togged. circumstances, if you're anywhere else, stop quads or oh, togs is no Ouch. Okay. And just like before, O Togged Chud T. This one's shorter. I think this is 3 3. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Yeah, 3 3 3. So just like before, you would use the the togged part and put that towards the front part. So togged chud t. So you would you would take the last word. So o togs and put this in front, like right here. And then say who's doing the action. So I'm doing the action. You ask me what I'm doing, so I'm doing the action. So it'd be Otog Chud T. And this is where you would also put the T uh, T T Audia. I went and purchased this very particular screwdriver today, right? You mm -hmm. T Audia screwdriver, right? Depends on how much emphasis you want to put on the item that you're buying. Okay. So, otog chud t, otog chud t, sasid. Otog chud t kupi, otog chud t kupi. Uh, also could be t, uh, tia. And either way is fine. It doesn't change it? It just only changes uh, where, what dialect you're speaking. Tia, like I said, is very particularly northern Vashutsi. Mm -hmm. And Tia is northern and southern. Oh, wow. And then at Sock, we would use the odd E. Very particular, definitely, definitely a sock thing for us to say. You could say low. If you do it every day. Yeah, low. Oh. La talk tea, adi up, kupi, because you would do it every day, then it could be habitually. Oh, wow. Cool. Otaw chud ti skokwa. 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 Otaw chud ti kataseed. Kataseed. Kalasid. 
Otar with Chud T. Alabats. Alabats. Mm-hmm. All right. This is where the breakdown on Northern Southern T. This that it. T. Uh, this that it. Northern Lushutsi, this very particular. And Tiadia, this, that, it, and very particular. Depends on what you're talking about. And the word noun list. So a lot of these are just straight taken from the book. I went through both English to Lushutsi and Lushutsi to English side. Long time. This is... Only halfway through, I think we got a total of 16 pages. Mm. So 10, six pages of uh, word lists. And there's no way we're gonna get through this all the time. So just say Which something. Ones you you use the, yeah. Which ones do you use the most? Me? Uh-huh. I'm a hunter, I, I get, ammunition and I use I sheed for ammunition I sheed mm-hmm. the one for arrow bullet yes I, I also use arrowheads you use it for ammunition yeah well Ooh. it says arrow or bullet but I also use it for ammunition mm-hmm. I do sometimes get a babysitter, and I do sup all odds, and that just means sitter. Culturally, if you want to ask what that is, we'll have to talk about after class if I get a chance to remember. Okay. Uh, I don't ever buy a canoe bailer and ever build somebody out of jail. That, however, was um, actually in the dictionary for bailing somebody out of jail. <laughs> um, I do fish, so I do ball ball eat for fish bait. Um, here's a new word: uh, ball game tickets are a place of ball games, right? Oh, oops, oops, alp. Oop, oop. How do you say it? Oh, 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 oops, oops, alp. <laughs> oops, oops, out. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, I don't purchase barbecue much, but when we do, do totally, I will try to remember that as much as I can. People do buy beds. I don't think I ever bought a book binder. I bought book binders, but I never used that word yet. I did buy blankets, but I never used that that yet. Chinese slippers. I did. I did purchase supplel, and that, that that I do on the regular. I seldomly buy a broom. Kind of hard to go off and say that all the time. Uh, Suck adhesive. I definitely buy suck adhesive at least once a quarter. And then we have the words instead of otogs, you could say tog alek, right? Tog alek, t. Uh, so, uh, said, you're going to go buy a toothbrush. So this could be changed out with the uh, words up here. Stop quads. Stop quads. Tog alek. All tiat sahel. What are you gonna buy today? Right. Oh. And this is shoes for oneself. Um, this was a direct copy from the dictionary. Um, 
pretty sure this means a dress, but it also said clothing. And this is a new word that I create that I helped create, I guess. Um, all ball. Um, it actually means to camp away from the house or to camp or to go camping, but uh, put an alt the house of camping. I'm thinking hotel. Um, you know, oh, they buy candles in the fall, which I should go buy some. I never bought a carpet. I do buy chairs every once in ten years. Ah, you could use this one also for um. So stop quads. Uh, oh, a wash. Stop quads or a wash. Uh, t. Stu option. What are you gonna exchange your shoes with? You know, this is one of those things where you can just start plug and play with the language. And this would be O A Gwash Chud T Stu Crobshed T Shake. I'm gonna exchange my shoes for my for a hat. I don't know. <laughs> hey James, I have to um something just came up. I have to go. Okay. Thank Boy. you for the lesson. Boy. So There we go. Oh, yeah, Josh. <laughs> there, there is a lot of words that I created in over some time now. Um, yeah, and this is not the only one I did this with. So, like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Um, if you want to participate in this class, Facebook message me, uh, email me, uh, eh, and uh, I'll get you on these classes. All right. chat, sushi to beat seed, hot quads, a shoot to boot, hot quads, a slob to boot, okay,